Hello, welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda from Mexico and I'm very happy to have all of you again here in my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to crochet with your fingers a very easy and simple garment that for now, it's one of my favorites from all times. Through over the years and through all over the seasons, this garment is perfect. If you crochet to sell, well, this is the perfect garment to make it because it's very simple, it's super easy, and you can wear it in so many different ways. In just one minute, and I'm sure that in less than an evening, you will have this beautiful garment. So, let's start. Well, you will need 100 grams of Nevia. It's like this, it looks like a ribbon. It is so beautiful and it has little sparkles in it. And also you will need 100 grams of brujas, it looks like this, in blue, and we have a lot of different colors, and 100 grams, maybe with 50 grams it's fine, of crystal, it's a super fine yarn. Well, we are going to make this garment with our fingers. If you don't want to crochet with your fingers, well, you can buy the crochet hook of number 15 or 12 millimeters. But you should try first to crochet with your fingers. I love it and I'm sure you will love it too. Once you start making garments with your fingers, you won't stop. Well, we are going to use it three threads together and we are going to make like a loop like this. Look, I will do it slowly. So, you are going to take three threads together and you are going to make chains. And you are going to make them loose like this and you are going to make 25 chains loose like this with big loops. Each loop of 2 centimeters approximately and like this until we have 25. 24 and 25. Once we finish, we are going to check that they are not twist like this and we are going to fix it. Then we are going to close in circle like this and we are going to slip one. Well then, we are going to start making single crochet. It is very important that you, we keep these threads because it indicates where we start, okay? So it will be important because we have to count our rows and we have to see where we start and where we finish. But we are going to make single crochet. I remember that we are going to use our finger as it were a hook. Then we are going to continue with the second one and it's very important that you pay attention where you insert your finger. Remember that we are going to take both parts of the chain. And like this through all the stitches before you continue making the second row you have to check again that you don't twist okay that you didn't twist if you well you can fix it here and then you can continue making the next row we are not going to increase any chains to go up we are just going to continue in circle so we are going to make um, the next rows like this in circle without making an extra chain. Just we are going to continue. Remember that we are going to take both parts of the chain like this. We are going to continue making single crochet. So here we have three rows. And after the three rows, we are going to continue but we are going to continue just with the threads. In this step, we are going to cut this thread, the one of brujas. We are going to make a knot here because it can undo. And then we are going to continue. Now with just two threads, we are going to continue making the same. But now we are going to make the loops a little more bigger that we were making like this so we are going to pull a little bit so we are going to make single crochet but then we are going to pull 
are a little bit. Remember, if you make 25 chains in your base chain, well, you are going to continue making 25 because then we lose the stitches and our garments will look bad. So, look, I indicate with my thumb which is the stitch that is next. Look. And like this, it's how I know which, is, which stitch is next. So this is one tip that I gave you to not lose stitches. And like this, we are going to make 10 rows. Well, after we finish the 10 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We are going to continue. But now we are going to add this thread again. We are going to make, make a knot here with one thread of brujas. And now in this step, instead of making one single crochet in one stitch, we are going to make two. In this row, we are going to increase and we, but we are going to continue making the same stitch like this. So here we are going to make two together again. Then in the next stitch the same. So we are going to make two in each single crochet. Well, here I finished the row and now if we make 25 at the beginning, well now like we made two in each single crochet, we have to have 15 stitches. Now you are going to cut again this thread of brujas. We, are all, we only made one row of brujas, okay? In this step, now you're going to make a knot and then we are going to continue with just two threads the one of Nevia and Tristar. And again, we are going to make 10 rows with just these two threads. Remember that we are going to continue making the rows in circle, okay? We are not going to close or add more rows, more uh, chains, I mean. Remember always to count that you have 50. Here I finished the 10 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, once that you finish these 10 rows, well, we are going to continue with the next rows and we are going to make a knot and we are going to add the thread of brujas. Then we are going to make 3 rows more with 15 uh, stitches and here in this step we are not going to increase, okay? So we are going to continue making 50 single crochets like we were making before. Remember to continue making them loose, like this, and like this we are going to make 3 rows. And with these rows we are going to finish. Well, I'm going to continue and see you to show you how we can wear it. Well, I finished. I told you it was super easy and super fast. I love creating uh, garments and things with your fingers. This is a new technique that you should try. I will show you all the different ways that you can wear this project. It's one of my favorites, as I told you. You can wear it like this with one shoulder off and then you can use it with a hat too like this, look, and it's a garment that's so different, like it's not, uh, it, I think it's a unique garment. Then you can use it as a dress, and you, as I told you, you can make it in so many different colors, we have available all the colors in my online store, remember the online store is www.lauracepeda.es and also, look, you can wear it like this as a poncho with a collar or you can use it with a hat too. I think it's perfect for winter. Or then if you pull uh, this 
and product well you can use it as a scarf or you can use it as a color just like a color or in so many different ways please visit the online store then you can see all the colors I have made this garment in brown in black in white it looks like a dream it looks so beautiful special because this a fluffy yarn that I love that is brujas and you can use it and make it with silver I think that with this in your eye your outfit will pop just you can wear it like a simple uh, turtleneck under and with this you look you will look so beautiful this is a perfect uh, Christmas gift also but well if you like it please give me a like subscribe and don't forget to leave me all your comments and if you are going to make it please send me a picture I will be very glad to see you wearing this beautiful garment and please leave me in the comments any other suggestions that you want me to make we'll see you the next Wednesday bye